first is we're going to take lemon juice. Now, if you were making orange curd, it would be orange juice. Sugar to sweeten it. Another thing used a lot, as I said, in England. You dissolve that really, really good so it gets smooth. Then we add the egg yolks, about six. Just like we're making hollandaise now, you got to cook this over a double boiler. That's what this is right here, you see? Hot water, little glass bowl. If you got a stainless steel bowl, that's great. Just make sure it's good and clean. And then we're going to add in lemon zest into this lemon curd. You just keep beating it and beating it and beating it like this, and eventually it's going to start getting thick. In about six to eight minutes, it'll start getting thick. If your hand starts getting too hot because you're working close to the heat, just take it off every now and then like this, and then work it back on the double boiler, okay? Now, when it gets thick, it's going to start looking like this. This is how thick that it's going to get. You see that? It'll coat the back of a spoon or the back of a fork. Now we're getting ready to make it into some curd. Some questions from my friends over there. How do you use uh, the lemons, you know? The best thing is using one of these guys right here. They come in plastic, all kinds, stationary. Put them in there, that gets the juice out of them, just like that. And then even now, they come out with these fancy graters. You ever seen these? You just rub them over that like that, it's like a magic wand, unbelievable. So that's that. Now, when you take this, which gets thick inside of this bowl, the first part of lemon curd, you got to add a little bit of whole butter to this. You got to get this a little thicker. Why? Because we're going to make this into a lemon mousse. That's when you come up with one of these, which is so confusing to people. That's why I wanted to do this recipe. It's working with gelatin. Gelatin is a thickening agent. It's colorless. It's smellless. Now, most gelatins are produced by Gelatin of animal, mostly pork, either in the pork skin. I'm not making this stuff up. You get gelatin, it's got some sort of animal, natural gelatin. Now, vegetarians, what do they do? Well, they go with seaweed, or what's called aga aga. And if you don't know anything, a little trivia for you, aga aga is that stuff that most, uh, if you go to a regular bakery, that flowers and things that are made, that's what aga aga is. It's a natural seaweed and they color that for their different frostings. I'm not making it up. Now, you got to bloom. It's a fancy word. Bloom gelatin, whether it's sheet or granular, in a little bit of liquid. What that is, when you do that, bloom, the term, is so that it dissolves. The particles of the gelatin dissolves so that it's going to be smooth. What you're going to put it in is not going to be all granular. Okay? That's when you use gelatin. So, you use a little bit of gelatin. We add that in there. Make sure that that's all incorporated in that. And then you get that cool. And then you got it to this pot. Look how thick it's made it now with the gelatin. You take whipped cream. And you take your lemon cream that you made or your lemon curd. You fold it in. Okay, you fold it in. Then what we're going to do is this. We're going to take this type of mold with a regular sponge cake, cut around. Use this mold as the bottom. You see that? You can buy these molds, inexpensive. Then you make a little cover for this, or a little lip is another name for it. You just sort of make, put it inside like this, okay? What that does is that even gives it more height. Now we're going to take this and we're going to put it inside of this collar. That's what this is properly called, the collar, okay? We're going to put the mousse inside of there, then we're going to freeze them. Just take that right out, put it on your plate like this. You see that? Take your collar off, all right? Take a little slice of lemon, all right? 